kitchen. Today I wanted to share with you another Easter recipe for a Polish table. It's another dessert, we call it Pascha Wielkanocna, which in English would be Easter Pascha. And um, it's delicious dessert, it's like homemade cottage cheese mixed with vanilla, sugar, some candied fruits or, or nuts, depends what you like. And uh, it's a little bit time consuming because um, it's going to be ready tomorrow, but I think it's really, really worth the effort. And how about we have a look at the ingredients so you know what you need in case you decide to give it a try. So I'm starting with preparing my uh, my candied fruits, but you can use here um, dried fruits or nuts, whatever you prefer. Then the next step is to prepare my uh, vanilla pot. I'm taking the vanilla beans out, and um, all this will go into the into the pot. Now you can use a, um, a teaspoon of vanilla extract if you don't have a bean. Now on top of my vanilla bean, I'm pouring. Uh, milk, mixing a little bit, and then the next step is to add the sour cream, mix again. And then I'm adding my egg yolks. And again, I'm mixing nicely until it's all nice, nicely blended. And then off to the stove. I'm putting it a medium, medium high right now until it, I bring it to the boil. And then I will put it on very, very low just to simmer it. And that will go for around two hours on a very, very low heat. And uh, what we expect it to happen is to the milk to curdle, and it's going to look that the after an hour, and then that's how it looks after two hours. And that's when it's ready. Now I'm going to take it off the heat and let it cool. When it cooled a little bit, I'm going to fish out my vanilla bean. And then I have a, a strainer ready. I'm lining it with, uh, with a cheesecloth. It's like around eight layers of cheesecloth. I'm putting another one. Here we go. And then I'm pouring my nice vanilla cheese <laughs> into my uh, cheesecloth. I'm going to close it and uh, give it a, a nice squeeze so you get rid of the most of the liquid because that's the whole point right now. We're going to push it, press it. I'm going to put a little plate and put something heavy on it. It can be a, a jar of pickles. I happen to have a melon um, handy, so that's what it was. And that goes to the fridge for two hours. And this is already out of the fridge. Now I have my pressed cheese ready. And I'm putting my salt butter into the hand stand, uh, the, sorry, <laughs> into my stand mixer. And I'm going to beat it a little bit until it gets some air, it gets creamy. And then I'm adding the sugar and put it on slow because if it goes too fast, then we have a nice poof of uh, icing sugar. All right, and when the um, sugar is almost mixed, I'm scraping, scraping the, the sides just, just to be sure that all the sugar is nicely incorporated with the batter. Here we go. It's nice and white, and right now, piece by piece, I'm going to be adding the, uh, our cheese, our vanilla cheese. Okay, and uh, now 
it's time to add the fruits or whatever you choose to add I like it also with raisins or, or with dried uh, prunes for example cut in small pieces but it's a choice of uh, you know whatever you like here we go after it's nicely mis mixed uh, in my um, nice strainer again I'm laying it with the cheesecloth and uh, putting our mixture now it's nice to have a nice shape of a strainer because that's the shape of the pasca at the end here we go I pushed it a little bit I uh, leveled it now I'm folding it and again the plate on top and my handy dandy melon <laughs> But normally it would be a jar full of water or pickles or something heavy just to um, keep it down. And this goes into the fridge overnight. And here we go. This is the next day. We unwrap it nicely. Just be gentle with it so it doesn't fall into pieces because it is delicate. You go on my nice serving plate. And then after we're done with unwrapping it from the cheesecloth, we decorate it with our um, with the, some fruits because we didn't use all of them at the beginning. We left some for decorating. So uh, here we go decorating and then we're ready to serve. Thank you. 